Hi Taurus, how are you? Wow Taurus, you were the tops this week. Thank you very, very, very much for all the likes and shares and I'm really chuffed with that. It's nice to see you come out of your shell, although you're not Cancer or Scorpio, but you know what I mean. And this is your reading for the um, 8th to the 14th uh, of February and 14th is Valentine, Woo! February 2021. Oh, I hope you're going to have a beautiful Valentine. Let's see what the cards say. Okay, now you're coming in with the Knight of Swords. Wow, doesn't she or he look <laughs> vicious, <laughs> ferocious? There you go. Um, yeah, I love this deck. It's really beautiful. It's four people that have come together, four uh, uh, friends that were at university. They've come together and they've made this deck. That's why it's so... Uh, for, uh, uh, it varies a bit, sorry about my English, but that's why it's so different. Uh, you can see the influence of each artist in each deck or element. Okay, let's get back to the reading, shall we? And we've got the Knight. So you are dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian. It could also be the Aquarian time that's significant for you if you're not meeting uh, uh, or if there's not a prominent air sign around you. But wow. This is the messages coming in through cyber, email, text message, and or a telephone call. And it is happening really swiftly and fastly. So be aware to carry your mobile with you so you can get your messages. They could be of great um, uh, news to you. Okay, something can become clear to you, that's definitely, because the swords stand for truth. The truth will always come out, and uh, they stand for truth, justice, um, also clarity, uh, also wisdom, communication, uh, also uh, could be official news coming through, as also they stand for... Um, municipalities and uh, institutions so something could become clear to you and I think it will be good news by the looks of it because you've got the two of cups here something is coming together partnering up perhaps you could be partnering up with somebody in business and you've you're getting the news from your notary public or a lawyer uh, to make it official whether it's in marriage or romance it could also be news about health, so it could come from a surgeon or a doctor, somebody that cuts, so it would be a surgeon, can also be a hairdresser or a dentist, but the tree stands for health and family tree, so it could be, uh, can be uh, news from somebody in the family, if they are an air sign with regards to their health, um, or that they might be taking a break. And if you would like to come along on this break, or uh, whether um, uh, space, you want to come and stay with them. Perhaps it's an invite to come and stay with them. Um, the tree means family tree. Uh, you can see the rainbow here. Um, heaven and earth are connected. So it could be with regards to somebody, it could be an inheritance. Uh, even something to do about uh, inheritance, something within the family, okay, and you see all red, red robins, and I'm hearing this song, red, 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 uh, robin, bobbin along, so something is coming along, or perhaps more space, perhaps somebody is giving you a gift of money, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see uh, what uh, is in the reading. Okay, you also have the Seven of Swords. So it could be uh, news about somebody that was um, analytical or not quite uh, clear, um, that deceived you, um, because this is the card of justice, and the Seven of Swords means that somebody is leaving and is taking something with him that doesn't belong uh, to them, so you might be receiving news I've borrowed this, don't think that I've stolen it, uh, something like that, along, so, somebody in the family has borrowed something, 
and just letting you know okay uh, but be careful of the devious side okay somebody's not being honest so be careful you might be warned by somebody in the family that something devious is happening um, within the family or somebody in the family has been devious this also could mean uh, money money you know the saying money doesn't grow on trees no it doesn't but the green of the tree uh, to me signifies money like the green of the color dollar because the dollar is green so yes it could be to do with a promotion okay and that's lovely but take care of your health as well okay or somebody in the family has health issues and they should seek advice five means out of balance uh, we've already had the seven so wow so there is news coming your way then you've got the two of cups and I love this beautiful picture with these birds sitting in a nest with two cups and this little nut is a teapot I hope you can see it and they're so lovey-dovey and they're soulmates so you might be meeting your soulmate um, this could be um, your soulmate interacting an air sign interacting with you it can be from anybody of course but prominently air sign saying I'm coming over um, I want to uh, get together with you I've got some news for you okay so yes awesome it could be that you're both very ambitious ambitious to start your own business so perhaps this could be official news like I said because the tower in the Lenormand is different than in the tower in the tarot but I keep still keep it in the back of my mind unexpected changes so um, don't cry about it just do stand up dust yourself off and continue and in that is in the tarot okay unexpected changes now the tarot in the Lenormand means institutions municipalities you might be getting a news from the tax office that you've got a tax return you might uh, uh, get uh, the all clear with regards to your health everything is lovey-dovey but the basic meaning in the Lenormand means that you're ambitious you want to reach the top don't forget the people around you that support you like being together if you are, ha are married or you are hooked up don't forget your partner whilst you're busy working and trying to get to the top but I think a lot of you will be partnering up either in romance or in business and you you want to be the best shop in the town the best cyber shop perhaps because there's cyber here um, and you're working together somebody might be the illustrator the other one might be the blogger or the vlogger or the other one might be the photograph grapher to put the pictures together in the story awesome you've got the six of uh, spades which is the six of ones this business or this partnership will be successful you're moving away from rough waters um, because everybody's having a rough time the last year and we're moving into a better energy uh, if you haven't watched the Aquarius energy then have a look at that okay beautiful so remain uh, positive and think of others so that when you reach the top you're not alone remember the people that support you and love you uh, you could be moving home you could be going on holiday and because we are still in a lockdown you I think you are planning to go on a holiday this could also be a honeymoon this is the um, church or a registrar office and this could be the official certificate news or paper um, getting married so there you can see that the six of swords can be a honeymoon now a, l a lot of the readings have uh, got the more romantic side jumping out this week and I think it is because we can feel um, 
uh, the energy of Valentine within the whole week. Now you've also got the Six of Wands, which is a lot like the Six of Swords in this uh, uh, going on holiday, moving onwards, getting recognition. Okay. Uh, the Six of Wands does mean uh, recognition for your hard work, moving onwards and upwards, going to the next level, promotions, getting engaged or getting married, or extending the family, expanding the family, wanting to get pregnant. Because we do have a wish card here, but you, you are being recognized for your perseverance, your hard work, and you're just awesome. There's no two ways about it. You're just awesome, Taurus, and you know it, just as well as I do. You just take things steadily and uh, calmly uh, in your stride. <laughs> All right, um, that's true. Um, you go there. Y you are there for the long term. Uh, so long, it's tangible, durable. You are there for the long term. And look, you're just like a magnet. All the fish are coming to you. Little fish, so that's also an idea why um, I think um, you might be wanting to expand the family. If you have children, there might be an extra one on the way. I don't know why, but that is what I get. And every deck I see different things. It doesn't mean birth, but it does mean success. So if you've been trying for a baby, success is yours. Then we have the bear. And again, we've got the ice uh, tower or institution in the background. Again, institutions are involved. If you are giving birth, uh, you have to take care. If you are pregnant, I mean, you have to take care of your health. And this is the family tree and you're branching out like the tree has branches again this could be the hospital you might have to be going to hospital um, to get things sorted out and be precise and so that you can take care because the bear protects the family and is really sturdy steady like the bull and that's how I see the bear and the bear protects his home uh, you could also be um, um, getting help from an institution to make your dreams come true. You might have applied for a loan uh, for a house so that you can work from home, that there is enough room because you've got two institutions here. So this could be the bank as well. Okay. And I'm thinking of buying a new home if that is your wish so that you can extend the family. Your hard work is being seen and it's lying next to the Six of Wands, which is also recognition, so you've got two cards of recognition. You will get to your goal, you will get to the top, and it will be absolutely fabulous if you remember, or have remembered, uh, whilst you were trying to get to the top, your partner or your family. Family in this reading is really, really important. Your family recognizes how hard you have worked and how hard you have persevered and that you're moving away. They see you moving away to calmer waters. Awesome. Your wish is coming true. This is three. You're creative. You've been creative. This is six. So you six, six. And we've got on other six. So three sixes. Um, that is 18. 18 and one, 8 and 1 is 9. So that, that's the indication of an ending. Now you've got 16. That is 1 and 6 is 7. Luck is on your side. Dreams or goals coming to fruition. And here you've got, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 sixes. And this happened last week in a reading as well and this is the second time in my whole life that I've been reading that four sixes have come into place and four times six is 24 again 24 two and four is six you're in balance you've got the six of hearts so there's the six of cups so that means that somebody could be coming back from the past but it could be somebody that is jealous, because uh, 
I didn't tell you. The bear means good luck as well. There could be somebody around you that is jealous of you, okay? But you protect everything that's dear to you and you will succeed. Somebody could come back um, from the past as you've got the Six of Cups. You might be reminiscing about the past. So let go of the negative. Don't compare if uh, the past with the present. Okay, and you've got the six of clubs, a uh, ten of clubs. So the ten of clubs also an ending, new beginning. You've been through rough waters because you, uh, literally and figuratively perhaps, um, because you've got the six of clubs here. Uh, sorry, the six of spades, which is the six of swords, and that means moving away from rough waters, going to quieter waters. Okay. And I'm getting to hear still waters run deep. So I don't know if that is significant to anybody out there. I think somebody's been keeping things quiet perhaps. And now you're let, you're ready to letting it rip. You're ready to spread the good news. Whatever the news may be. Recognition from work. Promotion. Uh, you're ready to take the lead uh, at work and delegate. You've learned how to delegate. You're a nurturing, kind person. Your wish and goals coming true. Like officiality, like I said, you've got quite a few cards showing officiality. And here you are. You've got the letter with the seal. News is coming your way that is official. Again, 27 is a 9. There's an ending. You've got the 7 of uh, spades. That's the 7 of swords. So somebody from the past might have been sneaky, right? The 6 of cups. And they might be coming back to give their apologies. Or, or give you an other present. But d be careful. Use your intuition, my darling. Okay? Don't let in the past. If it was nasty, um, then you know what to do. Now, um, I'm, he I'm hearing don't let the past in. Move on. You've got a good life now and you want to go to quieter waters. You don't want to stay in the rough waters. That is what I'm hearing somebody telling me. Now, this is a general reading, so I think it could be for one person or, um, or for more of you that you have to, you know, don't let the person back in that was nasty to you, but learn from the past and don't uh, tread the same water. Move on. Go with the flow. That is what I'm also hearing. For every little extra message that I get, not from the cards, but from gu my guides or angels, they are significant or they might resonate with one or two of you. Now, also, we don't only have um, the air signs, um, then, and they're quite uh, prominent in this reading. You're moving up from the six to a seven. You, I think you've got two sevens. Yes, you've got seven here, seven there. You've got the four sixes, which will turn into a six. That is magic, and you're again moving up from a two to a three. Okay, you are so emotionally balanced, it's amazing. Okay, stay strong, stay strong, Taurus. And then to top it all, you have the chariot. Again, that's a lot like the six of wands. Um, recognition, victory. You're moving onwards, upwards, to the next level. You might be going on holiday, moving home, like the Six of Swords. Same meaning. Okay. Now, uh, you see the black and white horse. They're not facing each other. So somebody has turned their back on you, and you've turned their back on the dark side. And like I said, don't let the um, past come back in. Turn your back on other people's dramas and to people that were no good to you. Now there could also be a significant cancer there. Okay. S oh, right, I'm seeing something else here. Seven, seven, uh, seven. So you've got three sevens. So seven, seven, seven is a prominent figure. 
and the angels are here as well you've got 38 so that's 11 a new doorway the divine and the angels are giving you a new doorway you've got the swallow which is called also the house martin use the fee on the tail victory I'm seeing a lot more things um, every time in the cards so different industrious playful and social that is what you are be like that let your inner child come out people will love you even more than before the little dolphins of the sky bestow blessings on your home as they watch the world go by so you are blessed and all that's living in your house now the angels are saying a definite no okay so if somebody's coming back from the past and if your question is will uh, I let them back into my life the answer is definitely no do I have to worry definitely not let it go you've got such a beautiful reading it's a powerful reading you it shows that your wish is coming true you've got victory you've got love you've got recognition and you're going upwards you're getting promoted or you're going to the next level with your lovey dovey and I think Saturday and Sunday are magic on Sunday you will have the recognition that they have or that you have will be shown to you your wish is coming true it might not be be careful what you wish for it might even be better uh, than your wish that is how positive this reading is because especially if you are with your soulmate beautiful you might be planning to finally go on that honeymoon or holiday um, uh, as you have also so many cards travel or moving home that could be your wish you will be signing official documents or getting news um, because you've got also a lot of officiality official news uh, you've got the institutions there and also the swords means institutions I hope you have enjoyed this wish uh, this reading thank you so much for your likes and I hope you will like it this week as well thank you and please share bye bye